Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the door lock and switch assembly on your front load washer. It's a really easy job. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the washer. So either pull it far enough forward that you can unplug it, or locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuse, just to ensure that we have no power at the machine. Now once we've done that, the easiest way to replace this part is to go in through the opening by the door. So open the door up completely. And just look at the bottom edge of this bellows under this little flap and you'll note that there is a little coil spring there that is attached to the wire band that goes around that bellows. Using a pair of needle nose pliers, we're just going to grasp the end of the loop on that spring and we'll pull it towards us to stretch the spring. And then we can peel that clamp away from the bellows. Now next, we're just going to peel the bellows away from the right hand side here. Just enough that we can access in behind. Then we're going to remove two screws that secure the old door lock assembly to the front panel. Just support that assembly as you remove the second screw. Pull it away from the back side of that front panel. And then you can access the individual wire harnesses that are attached to the switch assembly. Now the easiest way to replace these is to depress the locking tab on the actual wire harnesses themselves. Pull them away, and if you wish, just so that you don't get confused as to where they go, you can reconnect them to the new switch assembly as you disconnect them from the old. So just hold on to the wire harness and press it into place on the new switch assembly. Make sure the locking tab engages. Continue to release the locking tabs and disengage the other two connectors. Okay, make sure that it's pressed firmly into place and that the locking tabs are engaged. bottom one doesn't have a locking tab, it attaches to the small wax motor that sticks at the bottom of that latch assembly. Again, press it firmly into place, check all three connectors, tuck it back into the opening. Just make sure it pushes through the back side of that front panel until the area where the screws go in is flush with the back of the panel. Install and tighten the two screws. Now next we'll need to pull that bellows back onto the front panel. You note that there is a V-channel built into that front panel and a shaped edge on that bellows that fits into that groove. So just make sure that it's tucked into that groove all the way around.
Now if it's tucked in properly, that edge of the bellows will lay flush against the front panel. Now once we've ensured it's in place, we'll take our bellows clamp, line up that spring in about the six o'clock position, and make sure the wire band fits into that V groove. Again, we'll take our needle nose pliers, we're gonna grab that hook on the end of the wire, pull it towards us, which will stretch the spring and release the tension on that band. And then just verify that it dropped in all the way around. Now, once we've got that wire firmly in place, we can close the door up. We're ready to reconnect the power and your repair is complete.